When you eat a meal, the food and liquid travels through your gastrointestinal tract, breaking it down into the vital nutrients and energy your body needs. The GI tract is a long, muscular tube that has its own nervous system, with five times more nerves than in our spinal cord. These nerves are responsible for peristalsis, the involuntary reflex that propulses the food from one part of the digestive system to the next. For people with cystic fibrosis, the CFTR mutation can cause nerves in the GI tract to function poorly, causing potentially serious issues. The muscular valve at the end of the esophagus, called the lower esophageal sphincter, normally prevents acid from refluxing up from the stomach. This may be lax in CF. Once a meal enters the stomach, it mixes with gastric acid and other fluids to begin the digestion process. The muscular sac contracts against the pyloric channel at the end of the stomach to churn the food into small particles. When nerves malfunction due to the CFTR mutation, the stomach may become paralyzed, a condition called gastroparesis. With gastroparesis, the stomach can't expand. You end up feeling full more quickly when you eat. The stomach is also unable to empty, causing nausea, vomiting, and bloating to occur. This can increase acid reflux and lead to weight loss. The pancreas and bile secretions are critical for digestion. A healthy pancreas produces the body's natural antacid called bicarbonate, as well as the digestive enzymes critical for digesting what we eat. This includes fats, carbohydrates, and protein. The liver makes bile, which helps this digestive process. When the mushy food mixture leaves the stomach and enters the intestines, the bicarbonate neutralizes stomach acid and provides the optimal pH for pancreas enzymes and bile to function. In CF, fixed secretions in the pancreas block the pancreatic ducts, preventing the enzymes from entering the small intestine and eventually leading to scarring of the pancreas and minimal enzyme production. The 20-foot-long small intestine is where 90% of food digestion and nutrient absorption occurs. The small intestine secretes fluid into the intestine to mix with bile and enzymes. It produces a thin, watery mixture to maximize digestion and absorption of nutrients across the cells of the intestinal lining. The bacteria that lives in the small intestine also aids in absorption. With defective CFTR, motility may slow, causing bloating, gas, bacterial overgrowth, abdominal pain, and distension. In patients with CF, thickened secretions can prevent effective absorption of needed nutrients. The large intestine, or colon, is responsible for processing any waste. With CF, sticky mucus and poor motility can cause constipation, making it hard to pass stool. CF can also alter the microbiome with more bacterial bugs that may lead to pain and may increase the risk of colon cancer. Cystic fibrosis has many debilitating effects on the gastrointestinal tract. Understanding how and where this damage is caused will help the development of more effective treatments.